Hey guys, what's up? Ryan here, and today I will be doing a quick mod on the Ultimate Missile Blast. Now, for those of you who don't know, this is a Buzz B Blaster. I don't know if you guys can see that. There you go. It's a Buzz B Blaster. It's pretty much a smaller version of the Titan. It's pretty cool, I guess. I mean, I wouldn't normally buy it, but I found it on, like, Super Sale at Target yesterday for, I got it for like $4 instead of like $20. So I figured I always look for deals, so I couldn't pass this one up. So it'd be a good chance to get it. some test. I haven't done one of these before, so I'm gonna hopefully make it into a single shot or make an RSP clip for it. And it should be pretty cool because it's an air system and it should get pretty far. So I'm gonna open it up and we'll get started. Okay, now to take this gun apart, you need to unscrew everything, and I've already done that. As you can see, I have all the screws in there. Uh, so then, next thing you do is it just pops right open like that. Here's a quick look at the internals. Now, how it works is it has this pump system right here that when you pump it back, it fills pressure into this air tank system, which is from here to here. Then when you pull this back, pulls back this piece right here, because it's attached to the wire, which then, in turn, pulls the release valve for the pressure tank, which shoots out here. Now what I want to do is I want to cut off this right here, and I want to add a CPVC coupler right there, because I've decided that I want to just make it into a really long-hitting gun, so I want it to have all power, and I don't want to lose anything with an RSCB clip. But I'll probably make that attachment anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut off here. I'm going to attach it. I'm probably going to have to dremel out some stuff down here in the shell just to make that fit. And then that's pretty much it. Now I'm not going to be painting it because it's raining outside for the past three days. If you've heard thunder in the background, that's what that is. So I haven't been able to paint anything, which is really annoying. Because I also have this Raider commission that I'm working on. So I want to be able to paint that, but it's been raining for like the past three days, so I've been working on other projects. Now, I'm going to finish this one today, and I'll probably finish over here. I just got a new shelf. So I'll show you that recon with the underbarrel attachment that's over here. I'm going to be showing, finishing up that video later, too. So I'll probably upload them both, either one today and one tomorrow, or both today. So, okay, I'm going to get started now. Okay, real quick, here is the finished product. I did the P CPVC coupler. I, I took out the post that used to hold on the arrows completely. I sanded it down. Then I glued and then E-taped over to make a better seal for the CPVC coupler. Now I'm going to put it all back together and try to fit it all in the shell using my Dremel. Okay, I carved it all out, so now that it will fit, see I, car I dremeled out that piece, so it will all fit in like this, and it fits really nicely. Now, because I live on the east coast, the standard for air blasters is that if it fires, originally fires a dart that's the size of a mega dart or larger, you have to have the air release valve not closed just for normal reasons. I just fired this and it was ridiculous how far how far it flew with Stefans and Streamlines. Now, but I'm gonna show you how to close the air release valve so you can pump it as many times as you want. Just anyway, I'm not gonna be doing it with this one, but because uh, I wanna be able to use this in battles, so I'm gonna keep it like this. But you just basically, you see that hole in the middle, you're gonna fill that with hot glue and that should be all you need. Okay, now here is the gun fully set up. It's ridiculous how far this thing fires without restrictions. Like I told you, I didn't do the air seal for the release valve, but you can if you want to. I'm just, I want to use this one, so I can't. But, um, so what I did though was I just took a couple shots with it, and it's ridiculous. I've been hitting phenomenal ranges really accurately. I'm using a 6 inch CPVC barrel with the coupler, so. About six to eight inches, I would say, for this one, and it's ridiculous how far this thing fires. So I'm going to do a real quick indoor test firing because it's still raining outside. So I'll do a Stefan and a Streamline now. 
Okay, now for the range test, how I load this gun is I a, take my CPVC barrel and I take, in this case, I'm going to use a streamline and then I'm going to use a step and sagging. So I'm just going to take it and I'm going to push it right in there. Then it should fit flawlessly like that. So now what I have to do is I have to pump my gun. So I'm going to do five times. It only needs to be pumped four, but I just want to make sure that it's pumped all the way. Like I said, I'm still using the air release valve, but you can plug that because it's ridiculous with it still in there, but I want to be able to use it at worst, but it'd be even more ridiculous without it. Now, like I just did there, you have to stick in to the CV, CPVC coupler. So now I'm going to zoom in on that corner. It's about 60 or 70 feet away. So I'm going to just zoom right in there. Raise the camera a little bit. There we go. Okay, so ready? Three, two, one, fire. Now, that was ridiculous. I'm going to load another step in. It hit what I was aiming for, but the darn might swerve because I'm using a 6-inch barrel. I was using an 8-inch barrel before, but I'm using the 6-inch one now to test it out. Now, probably I'd go with the 8-inch because it's more accurate. So, pump. Okay, it's the same loading for the Steffens too, so I'm going to fire one now. The Steffen was amazingly accurate, if you probably saw it, it hit the, towards the top of that wall back there. So now I'm going to go and wrap up this video. Okay, this gun is amazing. It's probably, if I go outdoors for a longer range gun, it's definitely going to be my primary right now over my uh, Big Bad Bow mod. Because this one is a little is fires further and a little bit more accurately. All the other ones rate of fire is faster. So if for long range firing, it's definitely going to go with this gun. Now, like I said, I got this gun on sale for like four dollars instead of like twenty dollars. So if they have any more, I'll probably go pick them up. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Now, I'm probably doing an outside test fire just to show you guys how far this thing can actually fire because it was hitting the back wall, which is like 70 feet away, no problem. So, yeah, I'll probably, if I see any more of these, I'll grab them and I'll do an outdoor firing. Now, in the future, some videos to look out for is my Raider that I'm working on, and you could see it right over there, the recon with the recon underbarrel. So those videos are coming out very soon, probably the underbarrel before, because I still need to paint the recon, Be uh, not the recon, the raider, the, uh, drew in a draw I just drew a blank there, but uh, yeah, so I'm going to be doing that in the future, and maybe if I get a second one of these, I'll even do the attachment thing where you can attach two of them together, that'd be pretty cool. So... Okay, thank you for watching, and please comment, rate, and subscribe so that you don't miss any of the future videos. I know that the recon one, it's pretty awesome. So that's going to be coming out very soon because I got the pieces that I need to fix the recon, so it's working now. And I'm just doing final touches, so that video might even be out later today, if not tomorrow. So thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.